Welcome to the latest edition of our Seafood News Weekly Roundup show brought to you by Erner Berry Seafood Import Workshop. I'm Erner Berry and SeafoodNews.com editor Michael Ramsing and we are just days away from the relaunch of our Seafood Import Workshop series here at our offices in Times River, New Jersey. We'll talk to you more about that later on in our show. It was a busy week here in Seafood News where we begin our show in Iceland, where fishing has resumed after an agreement was narrowly passed between the major fishermen's unions and the boat owners. The deal ends a three-month work stoppage for Iceland's commercial fishermen that walked off the job in November. Prior to the deal, it was reported that Iceland's fishing strike would come to a quick end because of a recent decision to sharply raise Iceland's commercial capelin quota given the winter fisheries' tight harvest window. This deal should ease upwards pressure on cod prices and shrinking inventories in British and other European markets. The strike was starting to cut into fresh and frozen cod production out of Iceland, which is a major cod supplier to global markets. Likewise, any fears of fresh cod shortages here in the U.S. market, particularly on the East Coast, are also likely to fade. In other news, the latest Canadian stock assessment of Newfoundland's pink shrimp biomass by federal biologists showed not much improvement compared to 2015. According to the research, the commercially important shrimp fishing area 6 showed a decline in the biomass from 785,000 metric tons in 2006 to 104,000 metric tons in 2016, with a 25% decline in the stock recorded between 2015 and 2016 alone. Work is currently underway in a stock advisory report, which will be ready for publication in early March. Canada's Northern Shrimp Advisory Committee will then meet on March 9th to hear the latest round of reports from federal biologists. The committee will then offer their suggestions on quota level for this year's shrimp fishing season based on the findings. Meanwhile, Highlander Foods posted a decline in annual sales volumes and values last year because of the continued dip in demand for its traditional line of breaded and battered frozen seafood items in the U.S. market. The major seafood producer and distributor reported a 4.5% decrease in its annual sales in U.S. dollars and a 3% decline in Canadian dollars in 2016. The operator's sales volumes were down 2.5% for the year. Highlander CEO Keith Decker said he expects U.S. demand for breaded and battered for seafood to continue to decline in 2017. Finally, the federal freeze on approving new regulatory measures issued by the Trump administration last month has stalled some fishery policies across the country. However, regional management councils and lawmakers have been able to secure quick exemptions from the freeze for some quota allocation changes and other vital fishery management protocols. One such exemption was is secured by Oregon Congressman Peter DeFazio and other West Coast lawmakers who successfully petitioned the week, this week to get updated West Coast rockfish quotas implemented. As for today's top story, major U.S. seafood processor, importer, and distributor Red Chamber said it will participate with Argentina's National Fisheries Research Institute in a fishery observer program for the inshore Patagonian pink shrimp fishery. Red Chamber Argentina said allowing the onboard observers fulfills a goal listed in a fishery improvement project that the company is participating in for this industry. According to Red Chamber, the observers will track the fishery's juvenile hake bycatch aboard the vessels. Argentina's inshore pink shrimp fleet consists of day boats that fish for four to five hours at a time. Patagonian pink shrimp are also known as red shrimp and are a wild caught cold water shrimp that have been gaining traction here in the U.S. market. Last fall, Red Lobster started featuring the shrimp on their menu. U.S. imports from the fishery, according to data reported from Berry's foreign trade data, showed, 50, uh, showed a 50% annual increase in shrimp imports from Argentina in 2016. And that's it for our program, which was brought to you by Erna Berry Seafood Import Workshop Series. As, for, as of this recording, we are now just days away from the event scheduled for tw February 28th. Attendees will be gathering here at our offices on to in Toms River, New Jersey for a full day of seafood import compliance training from an expert panel of industry experts. We still have some limited seats available, so book your spot while there's still some time. Head over to shop.ernerberry.com or give us a call at 732-240-5330 to get a seat. As always, you can tell us how we're doing on Twitter by tweeting at us at Seafood.com News and at UB Seafood. And you can like Erner Berry and Seafood News on Facebook to learn more about what we're up to. Anyway, for Erner Berry and Seafood News, I'm Michael Ramsing. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you back here next week.